because you've gone through it yourself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, uh, you talking about like Bryson? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I talk to Bryson a lot. Like I said, I talk to him every day. So uh, I, I give him advice, you know, just to like, you know, what to prepare for and mentally and stuff. So, uh, but he'll be he'll be fine. Like I said, he's a very positive dude, so he'll be good. Scott, for you personally, obviously having 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 a yeah, he would speak hell of a year. Um, when was it though? Was it back in the spring or maybe at the beginning of the year that you stopped even thinking about that injury? Because I know when you come back, it might be uh, yeah. tough for, at first not to be able to go out there and just play mm -hmm. the way that you're thinking about it. Yeah, I mean. You know, like I, I've said it, you know, back in the spring that uh, once I got the clearance, you know, I just, I just trust the doctor's uh, opinion on, on my neck or whatever, and uh, just when he said I'm clear to go, I just took took the injury out of my mind and just went to go play, you know, and uh, just try to focus on getting back to, to my old shape. So I definitely just blocked that out of my mind and just tried to move forward. Uh, Do you expect your role or some of the other guys uh, to, to have roles increased because mm -hmm. of the loss of uh, Bryson now? Um, I mean, you know, if T-Rob if if says, you know, that we got to do something a little extra, then, you know, I'm ready for it. But uh, until he says that, I'm just doing whatever I got to do within the scheme. And how did it feel this past this past week? You guys, uh, the week before, defensively, um, you know, had, had some breakdowns. We were able to get off the field on third down, mm -hmm. being able to hold uh, La Tech some field goals in the red zone. I mean, how much confidence does it give you now going into another SEC? Yeah, you know, um, it was a we had a good uh, red zone performance last week. You know, uh, holding holding them to some field goals and, and not letting them score. So, you know, we, we've kind of found our identity uh, on defense. You know, Ben don't break, so that's what we're just gonna keep keep rocking with throughout the year. <clears throat> How hard is it to defend a mobile quarterback like Texas A&M? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's always hard to defend a mobile quarterback because you know you're outnumbered when it comes to the blockers and stuff. You know, um, so you gotta someone has to win on a block. So you know. Uh, it's, it's a little difficult, but you do. You just gotta, you just gotta make plays, and so we just gotta make it happen. Is there any kind of keys that you read to know when he might scramble or when it's a kind of a designed quarterback run? Um, I mean, you know, it, certain, certain times, you know, when they when they get in their drop, you know, it, it depends on their movement and the and the running back's movement and stuff, and see like where he goes, and then we'll react off that. Because usually, sometimes, you know, he won't make a certain movement unless it's like a draw or a design draw. So when we see that, you know, key movement, then we know we'll, we'll kind of go hit it instead of dropping back in coverage or just wait and be patient. So we'll just read, read those two guys.